can win now, he's, he's right there. And if he had lost that game against Anish, he would have been, uh, you know, languishing. Qu quite a few points behind. So. But with that victory, that was a trifecta. And he's definitely got the momentum on his side as he opens up. Holy smokes, with the center. No, the Danish, Danish gambit. Danish Wow. I mean, uh, Magnus has been all over the map in the in his opening uh, play. What do you think of his of his decision, uh, Var? Yes, I think I think it's his goal or strategy in this tournament, just try to surprise his opponent in every game and play some offbeat lines. Should be, but it's it's about the clocks now, as well as nerves. I mean, you know, everybody knows when you're winning, but you know, just bringing the point home—that's that's the tough part. Rook check, king under eight. One minute. And rook drop back to e2. Interesting move. I thought that Magnus might have been contemplating rook e5. Maybe he doesn't want to give Livon knight c4, knight b2. Yeah, any counter chances whatsoever, but uh, I thought he was going for that. Uh, instead, he dropped back with the rook, and it's time for this knight to come into the game. Love that he move. He heard you. Yeah, love that move. And oh! oh. Levon immediately, as he was releasing his king, walked into knight takes the f7. Knight very uh, that's a second pawn, and oof, oof, and that's third, a blow. Third, I think, h6 is also lost. With the, yeah. There we go. Yeah, ooh, and by the way, Magnus Carlsen, four in a row. I think as we were coming